Okay, here we have a MacBook Pro. It's a 2015 uh, MacBook Pro with a Retina display. It's a 15 inch one. Um, what we're doing is we're trying to remove the battery from here. Now, I've watched a lot of the videos online, uh, especially the ones from Other World Computing, where they talk about how you have to disable or take apart most of your laptop uh, in order to get the battery out. And I found that this isn't necessarily true yet. The reason why that they have to pull the main board out and the motherboard out is simply to remove these speakers because the mounting for these speakers are actually underneath the main board and on this side it's on the main board as well which means you have to remove all this stuff just to get the speakers out to give yourself enough leverage to pull the battery out now what I'm what I'm going to show you today is you don't necessarily have to go through all that steps if you're delicate enough you're able to get through this without pulling all those parts out and we can pry out each of these individual batteries um, separately and save yourself a ton of time and a ton of work Okay, so here's how we're going to do it. So the very first thing we're going to do is pull out. Now, yeah, we're going to, um, the instructions usually say start from the end and move, work your way to the middle. If you do that, there's not much that you can pry against because these are all really soft plastic. And you don't want to take a screwdriver, start jamming it in there and bending it this way and thereby um, damaging all this soft plastic. So what I would recommend, start with these guys here. You have a nice, strong aluminum chassis here that you can pry against and what I ended up doing was I started with this I took a simple screwdriver and started prying in under there okay and you want to just gently gently lift up and as you're lifting up you can hear the adhesive starting to pull away and it's this crackling sound so as you start pulling and you do it really gently now the reason why you want to do it gently is you don't want to puncture these because there's a lot of uh, chemicals that are in here and if you puncture them, uh, two things will happen. Number one, your, your room's gonna stink really bad. But number two, you're gonna start a chemical reaction and a lot of heat's gonna come out and your, your laptop's gonna get really hot. And I know this firsthand because I accidentally punctured this one by using too small a screwdriver. So instead of using this guy right here, I was using one of those tiny little um, mini screwdrivers just so I can get in there and start prying it. And by accident, I poked a hole in here and it started a reaction and now this battery is steaming hot right now uh, almost too hot to touch so I actually brought this outside just to make sure that if it does catch on fire uh, we're not going to burn the house down okay so here's where we're at so what I did was I did this first one and all I did was I pried it out like this uh, luckily I, I did this one with a small screwdriver pried it out and I was able to flip it over then I went sideways on this one and I tried to pry it out um, now you're going to find that it's hard to get leverage here, so one of the tricks that you can do, stick an eraser there and use that to leverage your screwdriver. So you're basically doing this kind of motion, okay? And you're lifting gently. Once you get in there, you don't want to keep lifting like this because that edge of the screwdriver is going to puncture the, the battery. So what you do is once you get enough in there, you lift this way. And so you just keep inching it in and lift this way. And the most important thing is, again, don't crack that plastic barrier. Okay, so here is an example of me. I'm going to try and do it one hand, but here I've lifted this up. Okay, and you can hear it. There we go, see that? Just gently pull away. I guess you can do this one hand. I'm going to drop the camera, and I'll come back when it's done. All right, guys, I was able to pry out um, both this one just by lifting it off the side. And I found actually, once you get enough leverage or enough space behind the battery, sometimes it's easier just to get your fingers on in there and pull that out just gently like that. Now for these two center ones, these are really, really um, delicate because underneath here, it's not just the keyboard, but it's the trackpad. Um, so you gotta be super careful. So when I was prying that out, I actually didn't use any tools at all. I didn't want to risk damaging anything down here, so I literally just grabbed the battery from behind here and pulled up. And once I got this side out, I was able to grab this side and pull up with this. And now you just gotta be really patient with it because it is slow and it is stubborn. And once you get that out there, um, it'll be a lot easier. Now all we have to do is just clean this all up 
get rid of all this adhesive and slap the new battery in and we should be good to go. Hope this helps.